Today, we are going to learn about the Carapal Hidden Crystal Springs. Stay tuned. Please consider supporting our channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell icon. Turning off the Erin Main Road, you enter the village of Carapal. The villagers that live here has been maintaining and using the spring water all of their lives. Residents from all over South Trinidad that know of the spring usually come here to get fresh, clean, refreshing drinking water. The Carapal Hidden Crystal Spring has been around for over 150 years and it is located in Carapal, South Trinidad. After driving through the village of Carapal for a couple of minutes, you will come across a street known as Spring Road. This is the road that leads to the Crystal Spring. The residents here live that wonderful country life, rich with naturally grown food and wonderful, refreshing spring water. Although we can drive straight up to the spring, I decided to pack a little short and take a hike so I can give you that hiker's view of the spring. The regional authority recently started working with the residents in helping maintain the spring. They paved the area around the spring, placing down concrete drains, and started the construction of two shower areas. The spring itself is contained in concrete cylinders that has been here for over 80 years. Before that, the spring was a well that was made out of dirt and has been here for a total period of more than 150 years. The spring is 15 feet deep and is continuously flowing. With the new construction, the water flows through a hole in the side of the well wall and into the concrete drains. This well has been continuously flowing for over 150 years, continuously flowing with crystal clear water. When filling up your bottles at the spring, please ensure that they are very clean and do not contaminate the water as the residents use this for their drinking water. You simply fill up your bottle and it's ready to drink. If you ever decide to visit the spring, please ensure you take all your garbage with you as there is no staff to clean up the area. The area is maintained by the residents. Crystal clear, delicious, refreshing spring water. And always ensure if you are taking a bath, you use the provided bathing areas as not to contaminate the spring. The water has a cool, refreshing flavor, much like rainwater, but with a hint of minerals. It's delicious. If you are enjoying this video, be sure to click that like button. And don't forget to subscribe and even leave a comment. The water flows continuously and refills the well as fast as you remove water from it. Robin lives at Losiro, one of the surrounding villages. He visits the spring every two weeks to fill his drinking water containers. Robin, you are from the area here? Yeah, I'm from Losiro. Losiro. How often do you just come and get water here? Every two weeks. Every two weeks I just come and collect, fill up my can to drink in water. All right. So it would usually take about two weeks for you to to use up the water that you're filling here? Yeah. And this is for drinking, cooking? Drinking purposes, yeah. All right. How would you describe the taste of this water compared to pipe water? This water is really fresh in it. Cool. It's clean and nice. It has a heavy taste. It's better than rainwater. Robin like many of the residents that live in this area, has been drinking this water all their life. Robin is approaching his 60s. He is very healthy and very strong. 
I wonder if the spring water has anything to do with it. I discovered the spring about a year ago, and my family and I has been drinking the water ever since. I do not think it is possible for us to go back to drinking tap water. This water is just too delicious. The well is approximately four feet wide by 15 feet deep, which is about 6,800 liters. Whenever the residents clean the well, they empty it totally, and it takes a period of four hours to refill. This means the well produces over 28 liters of crystal clear water every minute, and it has been doing so for over 150 years. The well keeps refilling as fast as you empty it. If you are enjoying this video, be sure to click that like button. And don't forget to subscribe and even leave a comment. Cleaning and maintaining of the spring is done by the residents of Carapal. Namely, Mr. Lyndon Phillip, Mr. Winston Phillip, and Mr. Carl Jones. Mr. Carl cleans the upper rim of the well while Mr. Lyndon climbs inside and cleans the inner walls. It is very rare for someone to see the process of cleaning the well, but I have been invited by the residents for me to record this process. A bucket attached to a rope with a swivel is how the residents empty the well. The well refills itself approximately 28 liters per minute. So they have to empty the well much faster than it refills. Lyndon climbs into the well and starts scrubbing the wall. But he is very far from the base of the well. He is not touching the bottom. He anchors himself by using his feet on the sides of the well wall. He has to work fast because the well is continuously filling. Do you think you will be able to climb down and clean this well? Leave a comment. I would really like to know what you have to say. Carl and Winston quickly removes water from the well with the bucket. This allows the water level to drop so Lyndon could move further down cleaning the well walls. There is no time for rest because the well fills up as fast as you are emptying it. You have to continuously empty the well so you can get further down to clean the walls. It has been about one and a quarter hour since they started at the top of the well and they are still going. If you are enjoying this video, be sure to click that like button and don't forget to subscribe and even leave a comment. Bucket after bucket, they keep emptying the well. And now that the well is much lower, they has to pull a lot more rope to get the bucket out of the well. Lyndon is now standing at the bottom of the well. They have almost completed their task. The murky water is due to all of the moss that has been washed down into the remaining water. Once the spring is allowed to fill up the well, it will become crystal clear just as before. Climbing up is a challenge. Lyndon is especially skilled with this. The residence usually does not drink the well water within 24 hours of it being cleaned. These time frames allow all impurities to flow out of the well. Here we can see the water springing out the sides of the well, filling the well back up. It will take approximately four hours for the well to fill to the top. A liter of bleach is sprayed onto the edge of the well to get rid of all of the excess moss. By the time the well fills up and starts to flow, all of the bleach will be washed away. A final cleanup around the surface and the job is complete. Carl, Lyndon and Winston sit around 
chatting about the good old days while the well refills. The entire process took them about two hours. A couple of hours later, the well is flowing once more and the water is crystal clear. What a beautiful sight. If you ever visit the Carpal Crystal Spring, keep in mind the amount of work it takes to keep this spring clean and beautiful and do your part to maintain its beauty. By taking away any of the garbage you may have accumulated while enjoying your time there. The canopy over the spring sets a beautiful ambience. The beautiful scenery, the sound of the wind rustling through the leaves and the natural ambience of the wild is all here to enjoy. This beautiful tree, nature's work of art, is one of the most beautiful and is located right next to the spring. It is a perfect place to have a picnic. The road continues after the spring and it is perfect for taking a hike, listening to the ambience and just enjoying nature. Keep in mind, this is all private land, so you must get permission to pick any fruits, like this mandarin. The Carapal area is well known for their cocoa, coffee, and citrus estates. This is what the green cocoa fruit looks like. The residents of the Carapal area works really hard to keep the spring flowing and clean. They use the well to get their drinking water. So I do urge you, when visiting, please keep a clean scene. Walk with the garbage bags. Take your garbage with you. There is no one here to clean up the area. So please be courteous and help the residents keep this spring flowing. Please consider supporting our channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell icon.